Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Neither were you. I know. That was perfect. I'm so glad I record. Winchesters. <sighs> well, isn't Winchester copyrighted so everybody gets sued by the gun manufacturer? <coughs> what? Trademark that. What? I'm going to trademark that. So anytime anybody says what, I get money. Achoo. Cheers. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Fight the man. <laughs> How are you today? Good. All right, today we are trying your, yours, because it is yours. You got this for Christmas. Yeah. The Winchester Rye. It's a rye whiskey. It is a three barrel at $24.99. So that's a three barrel. Not necessarily common band, but common band. And it's from the Terra Pure... Uh, Spirits Company. It's 90 proof, aged at six months. What's Terra Pure or Spirits Company? I don't know. I did no. You no did no research on this. We did on the other episodes, but we got to this one and I didn't. Terra do Pure uh, Spirits. This is one of those four, three or four large um, distilleries. Distilleries that, that make stuff for other other groups or of a, a craft distillery wants to start selling but their stuff isn't ready. It's not aged. They buy this and label it as its own. And so this is from um, Terra Pure which is a huge um, distillery. And this is specifically bought by a company as their um, their label. So are they going to start distilling their own? No. Whose label is Winchester? The gun manufacturer? No. This know. is the uh, whiskey label for Total Wines and More. Is it? Yes, it it's, is. So they got their... Shield egg. Shield for egg. For their scotches. We, we got back here. This is a Total Wines and More labeled whiskey. <sighs> Why am I the only one doing research? Because you're and the producer and the editor and the talent and the purchaser. Because you went to and college and none of us did. You're, you're not the, educated. You're more educated than the rest of us. We don't even know where to do research <laughs> on that interwebs. Interwebs. You're too busy on the dark web to. Gotta. I was gonna say something bad. I'm gonna, <laughs> not gonna do it. Wouldn't be prudent. He's going to do it. <laughs> All right. So a 90 proof um, rye whiskey. Um, and, and I'm sure that um, Total Wines has more than just this labeled whiskey. Uh, oh, they got a lot of their proprietary. Yeah. I'd um, like to try to figure out um, all of their labels because usually you have to research the specific label to find out that that's what it is. It but, seems like though when you go on their website and you look at like one of theirs it'll say only available at total wine then you would assume that yeah or if it keeps popping up as whiskey of the month <laughs> i don't think any other whiskey of the month no winchester was whiskey of the month once i thought i'll have to go back and look all right so let's look at this <clears throat> it is got some legs to it but not a lot i mean it's it, the viscosity is pretty good it's got a nice color the aroma is good a little bit of char, and can, that be you know matches the color. But can I'm you not. Smell the rye. Yeah, because the rye always seems to have a little peppery. That's what kind of denotes it. Not really getting any flavors out of it. But we've also have been today. We've tried several other uh, alcohols, alcohols in some videos. So okay, there I get. I get some maple. <clears throat> and car caramel but now yeah, i'm just i'm just getting the char but what i am not getting for 90 proof is an alcohol yeah i don't get any like strong alcohol of course i'm trying to hack that we just watched today so i can't do it you can't do the hack or you can't not do the hack i can't 
breathe through my mouth and my nose at the same time. That was one of the hacks. So we watched another channel and they talked about the 10 hacks of drinking or of nosing alcohol. And one of their things is you don't inhale with your nose because it gets trapped in your sinuses. Yeah, you bring it. You got to do your nose and your mouth at the same time so it creates that, um, that flow. And so the alcohol ends up bypassing your sinuses. It's where the burn is. And so you can get more of the flavor. See, I didn't know that was one of their hacks, but I've always done that because that's kind of how you do wine. Because you're a mouth too. breather. You do the... <laughs> <laughs> that's, that was rude. That's how you do... I'm sorry. That's how you do wine. You sound like my dog over there with congestive heart failure. <laughs> <laughs> that was wrong. <laughs> I'd give it a... I leave at 5.30 every morning to go to work, and you, you can, can hear him through the uh, his house walls out into the street. That's why he's got all these dogs sitting there, and they're like, what's that noise? <laughs> Just joking. I'm mean. <clears throat> You're a mean, mean man. I'm going to put this at just a three. It's not that... that aromatic... But because it has a lack of that alcohol, it's not a two. I'm gonna give it a three and a half. A three nap? Three, three and a half. What about you, boy? <laughs> Mr. Harsh Critic over there. He's trying to pass me on the Samia um, classes by going to the O. I'm still stuck on the S and Samia. I'm trying to spell it. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm just use Siri. <laughs> Alright, what do you think? It's not that hard, Cody. Come so, on. So how was your day? Pretty good. Pretty good. And your week got plans for the future? Yeah. I got things going on. Two and a half. Two and a half. You asked me <laughs> to give it whatever. The thing is. While we're talking, we're also doing our thing. You wait until we ask you, and they're like, oh, okay. Let oh, put, I was supposed to be... Let me put my food and my phone down. I was supposed to be thinking about this. <laughs> Except for I've been here sniffing it the whole time. Okay, so, um, flavor. It's a rye. Definitely get that rye. A little bit of a uh, caramel flavor to me. And some dark fruit, but that's about it. I'm not getting any. The tannins are a little heavy. Uh, it's it's got a sharpness to it. Actually, it's getting kind of a little bit of a licorice to it. That's probably the the sharpness that I'm getting. The the tannins. It's it's yeah. It's got that little bit of a bite to it. On that, not a bite, but a bite. On that hacking, ten hacks. I haven't watched it. It just came out. Um, yeah, they say like. When you got it in your mouth, you open it up and bring some air in to mm -hmm. it. They said you and could also put it under your tongue and hold it for 15 seconds um, to get the burn, and then you taste it again, and your burn is... Different. Well, the burn is overpowered enough that then you could taste the flavor. And they also said you should chew it, but I didn't get that. There was all sorts of hacks, and it was really good. And uh, I don't know. I think you just got to learn how you learn. I think the best thing for us is to just keep doing this and trying to figure out these flavors and, and revisiting them. And, um, and reading I mean, I think and doing that, a little bit of research. I think to... in the last 80 some odd episodes, all three of us are getting a little bit better each episode at determining what kind of flavors are in these. Yeah, I think we're learning more, picking up more stuff mm -hmm. as if you would have tried like our first one here, though. Any reason to pull that out, huh? Bullet. He's been talking about that for is the it, last two days. He just wants to take that home and finish it, and I can't take it home. It's it. Um, <laughs> when we first tried that, it's like we were, that was our first, like, we just, oh, yeah, this is good. That was pretty much our. So maybe for our 100th episode, we should come back to, because we're getting there, come back to the original three or four episodes. Yeah, and try and that and see how it. That's an idea. Or just, yeah. That's exactly what I was just thinking. I was going to say it after the episode. He wanted to take credit for what I came yeah, up Yeah, he's like, what can I say now? Uh, that was my idea. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> I, I said that, you didn't hear me. 
said that I was going to say it after the episode. <laughs> I gave it this hit. It's serendipitous that we were both thinking the same thing at the same time. I, I'm really smart and I can read your mind, so I stole it from him. Uh, uh, <laughs> um, he has a mind? I gave this a three. The Winchester. Yeah, I'll give it a three. Okay. It tastes good. I like it. It's all right. It's a rye, and rye's not my favorite, but it's not It's not bad. It's just all right. I don't think that the flavor is um, special. I've kind of grown Cody, what do you to think? like the rye's. Yeah, I'm going to give it a... I am going to give it a 2.5 on bite. I'm going to give it a 3 on the bite. 2.5. 2.5. I, I just think that there is um, enough of a lingering bite there. Ew. Yeah. And so that's going to be... After bite. 11.5 for me. A 12.5 for Andy, and a an 11 for Cody. So we're averaging to basically 11 point um, seven ish. So 11 and a half. Still going to end up being a three barrel. A 12 is a three. So a three barrel, not too bad. Um, I, it's a little bitter for me. I like to look little notes, but. Um, it's it's a coal bottle. Yeah, definitely coal bottle. Um, coal label it says extra smooth. I don't know that that's necessarily the case. Um, and the fact that it is from from what I know, which you didn't know, it's from one of those big mass distilleries mm -hmm. that might change everything for you. It definitely changes my perception of it. Yeah, I think just. When we're, you're saying like, maybe we should go back and do the first few and mm -hmm. revisit them. It would also be a couple of interesting episodes if we maybe took different rise, different rise, and some of our different um, maybe gins, and just try to do like a little um, get a big glass, pour them all in. I do, Start when, up. I do that when you're taking a nap. I just take a little <laughs> bit of air. Your infinity bottle is everything? <laughs> yeah. Come on. No, but you know what I'm saying? If we just revisit... Uh -huh. Yeah, Cody made the mistake. <laughs> oh. Cody did that with his infinity. I didn't do that to my infinity. I tested it out in a shot glass. Uh -oh. mixed a rye, a bourbon, a whiskey, and a scotch together. All the ones that I like yeah. by themselves. And you don't and do that. Don't, don't yeah, never do mix your rye with your bourbons or your Did you or your um, scotches. Try adding some orange juice to it. No, but did it taste don't so? Did do that it, with bourbon either. Was don't it put, okay on pancakes? <laughs> don't put bourbon and orange juice together either. I tried that. That's not Why would you do stuff? Because you've been drinking all day and you're like, ah. Oh. I was curious what bourbon He's like, I got food. orange juice and I got bourbon. <laughs> and then he opened the refrigerator and goes, damn, that's what's for dinner. Oh, well. <laughs> All right. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe. Check out the YouTube channel and the Twitter and the merch. Remember, there's no bad whiskey. There's only good whiskey and great whiskey. And this is, this is good whiskey. I mean, it's, it's good. You like yeah, it. Yeah, it's good. You like it because it's yours. You can honestly say it's yours. Gonna, I'm going to take it home. Probably. So right. I have this book. Oh, we'll see you later. Uh, cheers. Laters. So I have this book here that I um, put your I, I notate to... everything in. And it's kind of like a little whiskey book. And it's got, you know, I just do everything. And I noticed that I had not done um, something. What was it? Well, I didn't get Cinerator. And, of course, that was yours. And do you have any Cinerator left? No, you gave me a bottle with that much yeah, in it, and so that was no gone, like, immediately. Um, Devil's Run. I gave him Devil's Run for his birthday. River. Devil's River for his birthday. And I noticed that I hadn't completed my book and my notes and my tasting of it. Looks like you were So right. I asked him. I said, hey, do you have any Devil's Run? He had just taken it to the house. Devil's River. Shut up. <laughs> and um, he's like, yeah, I have some. And he brings it up today. It's about a third of that.
<laughs> Just that much, he's like, text me. I didn't do the devil's run, I mean, I'm like, I think I drank it So the it guy off. literally lives 200 yards from my house, and he walks up here and walks down. He never drives. Well, sometimes he drives, um, but he, he normally walks. I guarantee you, if he takes us home, his will be half gone before he gets down to this house. Mm-hmm. I sit down with the ducks and have a little conversation with them and say, hey guys, how's it going? And then the next morning, we collect him off the ground and wipe off the duck poo, <laughs> shove him in his house. Shh, Maggie. Maggie. All right. Bye. Later. Maggie, you're not a star. Mm -hmm.